Hello, Mr. Living Dead 13 here, and it is nighttime in Death Valley. Anyway, I just wanted to put up a quick video because, one, I have not put one up in a long time, two, I fucking felt like it, and three, I'm just pissed off and just fancied a good old rant. Anyway, hello again, YouTube, and today I'm going to be talking about people. You know, I mean, so this woman, I was speaking to this woman the other day, okay, and she turned around to me and said, I'm a social worker, and I can tell when someone's in trouble. And she thought that I was in trouble because of this. I am. There you go. She thought I was in trouble because of all of this, and especially that one up there. She thought I was in trouble because of that, because it's a couple of skulls, like those ones and shit. So then she started going nuts a bit, and then I might have lost my temper, and I might have informed her that she was a bitch, but nobody's saying anything, nobody's mourning about anything, so I'm just going to come clean out with it. She was a bitch, who cares? Anyway, uh, she noticed that I did I had my hand tattooed. Now, as you can see, I've not got them tattooed there, but I have quite pathetically... I have the Zelda sign on the inside of my palm. Some people think it's awesome, some people think it's pointlessly weird, but you know what, it's my body, I don't give a shit. Yeah, anyway, back to the rant. People that judge others just for, well, take me for example, being covered in tattoos, wearing eyeliner, having long black hair. Painting my nails, which aren't actually, well, that painted. That's the only nail paint I have on it. The rest are just dead. Um, yeah, having eyeliner, long black hair, tattoos, nail painted. Um, my friend got shouted at one time in the street, like, full on fucking shouted at for wearing fucking skinny jeans. It's like, I don't give a shit. I mean, per personally, I don't give a shit what people think of me. Because either way, they can go fuck themselves. I'm happy how I look. Um, my friends have nothing to say about how I look. My family don't try to say much about how I look. So, I mean, it's not, I've said it before, and I will fucking say it again. I don't give a shit. If it's hurting you, then yeah, I might stop, but it's not hurting anyone and never will hurt anyone. So, yeah. Anyway, back to the main subject I had. If anyone else has experienced well, let's just call it dicketry for now, okay? If anyone else has experienced dicketry in the street or at school or some shit like that, feel more than welcome to send me a message. If you send me a message with either your Facebook name, uh, not your Facebook name, sorry, uh, your YouTube name or your first name, uh, I will put up a video for you and I shall get your point across. If not, then just send me a message anyway, or like, subscribe, do all that boring bullshit that people get told to do. Anyway. What else was I going to talk about? I was going to talk about jobs. It is a vicious circle. It's that, but with barbed wire and razor blades on it. Because you start up here. Start right away up at the top. I want a job. I, w I want to work. And you go around to the corner a bit. Do you have education or, well, do you have experience? No, I don't have experience because to get experience I need a job. But to get a job I need experience. And to get experience I need a job. It keeps going round and round and round and round and round. And then in the end you just fucking fall off, throw up, get back on and keep trying. I mean, for the love of God. And I hope he sees this because, you know, it'll be a giant fuck you sort of thing because when I go down to an, an interview I take off like I cover up my tattoos you you would literally not recognize me because my hair's tied back my makeup's off tattoos are covered all that shit so I like my nails are not painted or anything so I just do not look myself and um, and I went to the Domino's where I live and I went for a job there basically but then, 
the guy basically turned around to me and said, yeah, well, you're doing really well. Uh, this really looks good for you. You're the best person we've had in. And you're the last person we're going to have in. So I was like, okay, that's basically saying I've got the job. And then he turned around and said, right, well, we will call you either tonight or tomorrow. Three days later, I decided it was time that I called him. I called him. Uh, apparently, like some, no offence to foreign people, but if someone can't speak the language that people will be using while on the phone to this company, don't put someone on the phone that can't speak or understand the language. I had to say, could I speak to the manager please, tell her my name, and tell her why I was calling about nine fucking times. I swear to God. So eventually I got through to... I uh, got it through to her, she went, okay, give me a second, came back, oh, sorry, the manager's away on holiday. Who the fuck goes away on holiday when he's try meant to be answering someone's interview? Hmm. So I was like, right, okay, I'll give it a week. So in a week, called him back. He's still on holiday. Nobody goes away for a week, two weeks holiday, and you only get a week's holiday every month, or something like that, you know? Even if you're the manager. So I just thought, well, he's a dick then. Um, and just, you know, carried on with it. Uh, same basic thing happened uh hairstylist went along, did the interview, she said it was doing good called me the next day, she called me the next day and, like this is after, right? at the interview she said yeah you'll fit in great here, you'll do great I was like okay, cool went home, went to bed, woke up the next morning to a phone call from the bitch saying yeah you're not going to fit in here so we're not going to give you the job and I was like oh what a magical fucking time so anyway Children, if you watch this, the job front sucks. The world sucks. People in the world suck. And their opinions suck as well. That's a life lesson I learnt pretty fast. And I'm pretty sure almost every child in the world learnt that pretty fucking fast. Margaret Thatcher. She's to blame. Because obviously I li live in Britain. If you're American or anywhere in the world, you will tell exact can tell exactly where I'm from just by listening to my accent. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, if you live in Britain, I'm going to tell you exactly why we can't get a fucking job as a youngster. Um, anyone over or under the age of 18. <laughs> Margaret fucking Thatcher ruined the job front. She closed, ha well, more or less all of the mines... All the gold mines, all the iron mines, steel, silver, all that shit, she, she closed them all. Booted down half the oil rigs, so she's basically taken the economy from being here, and put it here. And then Gordon Brown fucked up a little bit more, so we'll take it down to there. Uh, Tony Blair also fucked up, so we'll take it down to there. And the Tories are in power now, so let's just completely scrub that throw it in the cremation chamber, burn it, and scatter its ashes all over Margaret Thatcher's face. Anyway, that's point two. Point three is, I hate my laptop. And I'm pretty sure if you guys had the same laptop and the same problems were happening, you would hate it as well. The reason being, it will literally turn itself off. It will just... Decide, no, nope, don't want to work. You're not allowed to speak to people that you know anymore. Boom, turn off. And it's like, oh, fucking wonderful. And then my iTunes won't fucking work. Anyway, this has probably been the most prolonged rant I've ever... No, wait. No. Sorry. Anyway. So, yeah. If you want to have a rant, or if anything I've spoken about uh, comes in contact with anything you say or think, um, subscribe. Send me a uh, private message, comment, like, if you so wish, dislike, but I know what you're all thinking, I don't give a shit, and he, I know for a fact he doesn't give a shit, because I don't, I don't give a shit if you like it or dislike it. Um, show the video to your friends. I'm trying to get as many likes as possible, because I'm trying to get my word out there, that basically, people suck, and you need to learn to deal with it. Me, I've got a perfect way of dealing with it. Every time someone annoys me, and every time someone says, "Oh, go and take that, uh, take the eyeliner off. You look ridiculous." I'll put a little bit more on. Normally, I just have my waterline. I've got this much done today because three people had to go at me.
Two people had to go at me for it, so I was like, oh, I'm fucking painting myself up. Um, every time someone tells me stop with the tattoos, I'm at a good level, um, I'll go and get a little bit more done. Like, someone said to me to leave this forearm alone. It's left alone there and in there. But they've only told me it once, because I got that one done first. I got that one done about nine months ago. It was way back in January or February or sometime. Start February, end of January. Got that done. And then I got... Where is it? There. Got that one done about four or five months ago, six months ago. Um, and that was only because someone told me not to. I was wanting that t tattoo design done. I'm sitting on the bus. No, sorry, it was the train. I'm sitting on the train, not giving a shit what anyone else in the world's doing. And then I turned around to my friend and said, Dude, I'm getting this done. Showed him the design, he went, oh man, that's pretty cool. He was having a look at it and he was saying, are you remembering about having to smooth this line out? I was like, yeah, dude, the artist will do that, blah, blah, blah. Um, this old woman, well, not old woman, but more like a bitch, um, came up to me and for no reason said, I think you should stop getting tattoos. You're ruining your body. It is self-mutilation. And you want to, I don't understand that. Self-mutilation. It's your choice. It's like suicide. Well, not, not exactly, but I mean, if, in that class, it's if someone wants to die and they literally cannot stand life, like if they've got a terminal illness and they can't stand it anymore, I think it's not up to the rest of the world to decide whether they should live or die. I mean, it'd probably be kind of letting them, you know, kill themselves because then they're not in pain anymore, you know? And I mean, I don't exactly agree with drugs, I don't give a shit about them really. Um, but like, if someone wants to smoke weed, as long as they're not letting a child smoke it, or endangering others while smoking it, or to get it, or some shit like that, then they should be able to smoke it. If someone wants to have a drink, I should let them have a drink. You know? I mean... So yeah. Let people do what they want to do within reason. I want to get ink put into my skin. Uh, so I do. People don't really... I've figured out it's not really the ink that bothers people. It's more... the designs. Anyway. I'm going to head off in the now, as usual. Like, comment, subscribe, send me a message. And this is Mr. Living Dead 13, once again, signing off. Goodbye, guys.